Jackie Day. This Mother's Day is a Harvey family affair. Steve's daughter and her fiance surprise his foster mom with an unforgettable thank you. He raised him to be the man that I love. Love changes people's lives. I'm here to help. I believe it takes just one person's love and support to positively transform a young person's life. Uh, my next guest is living proof of that. Uh, I first met this man when he was a volunteer at my mentoring camp. Well, now this young man is set to marry my daughter Carly this year. He has an incredible story, and he wants to thank the woman who saved him. Please welcome uh, my future son-in-law, Ben. How you doing, man? Doing great. Doing great. Happy yeah. to be here. Ben, you've overcome so much. Tell everybody about your childhood. Well, my father, uh, he wasn't really in the picture the majority of my life. He was in and out of federal prison. My mother, uh, diagnosed with bipolar schizophrenia at a young age, and uh, she lost me when I was six months old to foster care. It was tough for me because she ended up getting me back. But every few years, she lost me again with mental breakdowns. And I would either have to go live with other families or families would take me in. And it was a struggle because I love my mom so much. She's an amazing person. But over the years, her mental illness got the best of her. And drugs and some of the men, you know, I, I regularly saw verbal abuse, domestic violence, and, and drugs were, you know, at the forefront of my life. So how did you get by? Sports was the backbone for me. I played basketball. So when I was on the basketball court, you know, everything was shut out. Mm -hmm. But it was a struggle for me. Okay. Someone came along in your life and changed everything. Yeah, I call her uh, Mom Cat. Um, <laughs> she's uh, an amazing woman. Um, you know, she, uh, you picture the movie The Blind Side. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I was a, the star athlete. I was all state. This family took me in. And uh, they gave me an opportunity. They said I could stay there for a few days. Well, a few days became several years. And this woman is amazing, not only how much she loved me, but the love that she showed for my mom as well. Yeah. Um, you know, I just feel the need to, to, to really to thank her from my heart. Yeah. What was it like for this woman you call mom, Kat? I mean, she fed me. She would make these amazing meals before games. At that time, I was 6'4", six, 6'5", six, as you can see here, and I was eating them out of their home, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> I think she carried gallons of fruit punch. Every, every couple of days. What I didn't realize years later, uh, she told me that they were at a struggle point in their family, that they didn't have the money that I actually thought they had. And, um, you know, she's just just amazing person. And uh, when I was in high school, they put me in this Christmas card. Picture this white family <laughs> and this big 6'5 basketball player. And she put that Christmas card to all her family and all her friends. And that was the first time I really felt loved. And when I went on to college, she was the person that moved me in. And she wrote this card to me, the sun will rise and the stars will shine. And that was the first time in my life that I felt in control of my life. And I cried for, for 30, 45 minutes. And she gave me hope and she gave me strength to really find my identity and become the man I am today. That's really great, and you, uh, you want to thank her today. I just want her to know what an amazing person she is. Okay, Mom Cat is backstage, but she thinks she's here to talk about uh, the plans for Ben and my daughter Carly's upcoming wedding. She has no idea why she's really here, so stay with us. When we come back, we'll, we'll, we'll hear a pretty heartfelt thank you. We'll be right back. Coming up next, Steve's future son-in-law shares a special story. Someone came along in your life and changed everything. This woman is amazing, not only how much she loved me, but the love that she showed for my mom as well. Today, he thanks the woman who's done so much. When I moved in, I was broken. It changed my life. Uh, 
Uh, before the break, my soon-to-be son-in-law, Ben, shared his remarkable story of overcoming a very, very difficult upbringing to become a success. Well, joining us now is his fiance and my daughter, Carly. Uh, so welcome to the show. Thank you. Carly, how did you feel when uh, Ben told you about his childhood? You know, honestly, when I first met Ben, I thought he grew up in, like, this Huxtable-like family. So I thought that he had, like, a father who was a doctor and a mom who was a lawyer. And when we started dating and he told me, I said, what? <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. Like, it just really made me admire him even more. It made me honor and respect his past. But just knowing how great he could be as my husband, I just think that those were the qualities I was looking for, someone who was so resilient, you know? Mm -hmm. And so he, he had that. Well, uh, Mom Cat, uh, the woman who helped raise Ben is here, but she thinks it's simply to talk about the wedding. So don't give away the surprise, okay? Please welcome Mom Cat. Thank you. How are you, honey? I'm good. Good to see you. Good. So, Mom, Cat, how do you how do you feel about being getting married? Well, I am really excited about it. He he totally adores your daughter Carly, and I think she's the person that he feels like he can tell anything to, share anything with. And she understands him. And I think that you understand what he's been through to get where he is today. Yeah. So I'm his other mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's one of my three sons. Yeah. I got a little confession to make to your mom, Kat, because we didn't really bring you out here to talk about the wedding. Oh, you didn't? No. <laughs> what did you bring me out here to talk about? Well, because the person you just described Yes. Wanted to do something for you, and he's got something he wants to say to you. Ben. Uh, Mom, Cat, um, you changed my life. Aww. Um, when I moved in, I was broken. And, uh, outside, I was that popular guy. But on the inside, I was just looking for love. And you love me. Oh. And you love my mother. And you showed me what family is about. And um, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know what it's like to have a brother. You fed me when I was hungry. You nursed me back when I was sick. And uh, 18 years ago, you wrote this card to me when I went to college. And you said, the stars will shine. And in that card, you talked about we started as a string, and that we've woven together to become a cable so strong that we'd never be broken. And I thank you for making me the man I am today. Aww. And I love you, and I thank you for saving me. Oh, man. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Hey. <laughs> Carly, you want to say something? I just want to say that you gave Ben so much hope. And you raised him to be the man that I love. And I thank you so much for giving him a second chance, to giving him a family, and to loving him so deeply and so dearly. So I thank you, because you raised an awesome son. Aw, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, Ben, you got one more thing to tell Mom, Cat. Well, you know, over the years, um, I've been involved working with a lot of young boys that, that yes. have had similar stories to mine. And my hope has been that I could motivate some of these kids uh, to be a shining star. And I started my foundation called Be The Ray Foundation. And today, there's not a more special person 
that I wanted to give this to. I started a scholarship in your name. No, really? The Cat Hughes Scholarship. Oh, and I wanted ben. to give you Oh, Ben. <laughs> I love it. But together. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that is beautiful. I think it's a great testament to the love that, that people give. And sometimes a kid just needs some love. Everybody can give love. That changes people's life. Love changes people's lives. And so I think this was a great story that says that. I want to say thanks to Ben, uh, Carly, and a big thanks to Mom Cat. Uh, we'll be right back, folks. Thank you. Thank you.